Hello Aries! Welcome to your love reading Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Aries in this reading will be focusing on your new person or your current connection, so please take it how it resonates. Aries, if you would like to become a member of the channel and have an access to the extra content, in the description box below there is a link to the membership. And only if you have a wish, please join. All your support is greatly appreciated. Okay, Aries, let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do we have for you? Aries. Aries. What do we have for Aries, please? What do we have for Aries? the magician six of cups and the ace of wands three of wands mm. Aries you have someone who wants to be with you in a serious relationship three of wands to the ace of wands give, it's giving us a four of wands we have the hierophant with the magician this person really wants uh, relationship with the six of cups in this context of this reading this is someone who um, feels like they've known you for all their life there is a sense of familiarity and it feels like this person feels that they have very strong soul connection with you ace of wands they want to act and it feels with the three of wands that this person was has been very carefully crafting their plan in order to, in the right moment, to take action. And it feels like they are ready here, Aries. You might be dealing with um, Gemini, Virgo. We have also Taurus with the Hierophant. Show me more. Crosswatches, the roles can be reversed. Show me more. Page of Wands, Eight of Swords. Hmm. Show me more. Show me more, please. The Death card, Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh uh, <laughs> we have king of cups three of cups the empress temperance mm -hmm. queen of wands the emperor with the empress wow and the moon as an overall energy for this part of the reading page of wands and eight of swords Aries, you have someone here with the death card and the two of cups that they kind of, you know, it's like they really want to be with you. They don't want anyone else. That's the thing. This person is stuck on you. This is someone who wants to just be in touch with you. And I feel this is someone who wants your attention or your attention to be absolutely focused on them. But there is some sort of blockage here <clears throat> with regards to this person. I feel this is someone who has difficulty to articulate themselves in the sense of expressing their emotions, what they truly want. It might be a case that at the moment, I'm getting very strongly here, Aries, that there was like a, um, you agreed to have a conversation and it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. We have King of Cups, Three of Cups and the Empress, yeah. This person wants to be with you. They have love for you, three of cups. You make them feel really comfortable. They can be themselves. We have the emperor and the empress, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. They feel that both of you should be together. Temperance, the time is right. Because temperance <coughs> represents divine timing, patience, but with the Ace of Wands here in this context of, the, of this reading, this person wants to take action. 
this is also someone who doesn't want to complicate things. You know, they, they want to, they don't want to cause drama or some sort of kind of, you know, awkwardness or something like this. But you make them very, very happy, Aries. The only thing here is that this person is wondering if you want the same thing. Because the moon suggests that they are unsure about your intentions. We have the Emperor. This is also Aries's energy. So you might be dealing with another Aries. We have Sagittarius here as well. Yeah. Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel this is someone who might be kind of is wondering if there is someone else or if they have for y your, your attention if, in the sense of... Um, this is someone who wants to know if you are directing your focus only on them. Pisces, we have also Cancerian energy with the moon. But, it, but this person is seriously interested in you, Aries. They really, really are. Let's see. Yes, because with this energy, we have Scorpio. It's like the, the, there's also a change of um, approach in order to be together. But I feel that this, there is, this person, there are, there are moments where this person feels kind of blockage in order to tell you what they truly want. That's what I meant. Let's see, Aries. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's feelings? towards Aries could you please show me this person's feelings towards Aries the Empress eight of Pentacles seven of swords Ten of Cups, Three of Wands, and the High Priestess. Yeah, I feel that at the moment this is someone who might be hiding, you know, they kind of true intentions in the sense that they want to be with you. And they have serious... And they are serious about this. That's what I am getting very strongly. The Empress, Eight of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. There is something here about this person not being sure with regards to if there is, for instance someone at your workplace that you might be interested in that's for some of you with the eight of pentacles because this person feels that you are not fully transparent you know but you're dealing here with someone who's very strategic very tactical and um this person is kind of i feel they are crafting a plan essentially to um to make things happen to um to charm you and to convince you that both of you should be together this person has love for you aries ten of cups they want to be with you but with the high priestess i feel that at the moment they've been hiding it's like they've been hiding it with the three of wands because three of wands it's kind of mm, it's like we see that goal we know that we can take action but but we are choosing to not to do that because uh, we feel that that moment might not be the right one, but we know that we will take action at some point. And with the high priestess, yeah, I feel that at the moment they are like kind of, you know, waiting, waiting for the, for the, right, for the right moment, essentially. Yes, let's see. Could you please show me how this person sees this whole situation? Seven of Cups, Four of Swords, Knight of Swords, Three of Swords, mm -hmm. High Priestess, Ten of Cups again, and Three of Wands. Interesting. So it's all about waiting for the right moment to kind of tell you their true intentions that they want to be with you. But we have Seven of Cups, 
four of swords knight of swords and three of swords this is someone who is afraid that you will reject them when they will come forward and tell you how they've been really feeling about you about this connection about their plans and the, the fact that they want to be with you mm -hmm. that's why i feel this is someone here who is with the seven of cups i feel that they are kind of trying to figure out what to do and because with the four of swords which is a passive energy and the knight of swords which represents essentially a chaser i feel this person has like a once they feel like yes i'm going to do it now and then next day they're feeling like mm, no maybe i should wait and it's all because they don't want their hearts to be broken but they very much they want to be with you aries could you please show me aries's perspective how Aries sees this whole situation? Let's see. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, Justice and the Tower. So we have Libra, Scorpio, more of your energy, Aries. You might be dealing with another Aries indeed. We have also Sagittarius with the Temperance. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups and Seven of Cups. For some of you, with this Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups and Seven of Cups, that combination of cards give me kind of a vibe of a wondering um, or kind of doubting that... It's like, I feel that, oh gosh, how can I say it? It's like, I feel Aries based on those cards that you might be losing hope that things will change, that things will ever change. Because Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Pe Pentacles, this is a very slow moving energy. The, the, this com this, these cards represents patience, waiting and waiting and waiting and in the middle five of cups suggest that that waiting or something that is taking a long time or it takes it feels like it takes forever uh, the fact that it's very slow moving makes you sad mm -hmm. I feel that you might be wondering if things ever will change and if this connection really will be kind of you know We'll move forward we have temperance justice and the tower i feel that you want a change like significant change tower brings a very significant change and i feel that's how you want that that's what you want you want things to you want this person to surprise you you want to see them you know uh, take an initiative because temperance again patience time divine excuse me divine timing right with the justice i feel that you have enough of it mm -hmm. there is something here as well aries about this person i feel that it's like they are very proper <laughs> okay and it's great but i feel that you want them to be more risky in a sense of you know taking action maybe more passionate something like this i'm getting i feel that you want change with this tower and it's like i haven't enough of waiting for something here to change and i want this change that's what i am getting very strongly from your energy well it feels like you're manifesting this change i can tell you that let's see could you please show me the outcome Could you please show me the outcome? Ten of Cups, the High Priestess. For some of you, you might have heavy placement in your chart in Pisces.
judgment, announcement, and page of cups. Overall energy, king of swords, queen of, of pentacles, and strength. This connection will only become stronger. That's what I am getting. We might, you might be dealing with uh, Scorpio. We have more Aquarius. We have more Leo. Uh, what I can tell you here, Aries, that this is someone who will finally make their intentions uh, clear to you. Judgment is an announcement with the Page of Cups, a message of affection, confession of love something that's been hidden in the sense of them wanting or to be in a relationship with you because they are hiding this ten of cups it's not that this person is in a relationship that means that this person wants to be in a relationship with you but it's like they haven't clearly expressed this yet but that's what's going to happen because judgment it's a decision making card and it also represents announcement in the form of uh, I'm getting here confession of love so expect this person indeed to um, <laughs> to 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 expect this person to confess they they true feelings and intentions to you mm -hmm. this conversation only will strengthen this connection I can tell you that Aries you have someone who's very interested in you this is a very clear reading so for me as a reader this person has very clear intentions they want to be with you they've been i guess you know it might be a case that you've been waiting for quite some time to see some sort of kind of action from this person's side but uh, i'm getting that in the near future for a lot of you you will see a change a very positive change and you will finally hear from this person how how much you mean to them and how much they want this connection Aries, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Aries, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.